So this is an MPI plate magnet. And I wanted to walk you through how to test this particular plate magnet, but there's a lot of variations out there. Uh, variations could include the way that it's installed in your production process. It could include a quick clean stripper on it. It could include another quick clean mechanism on it. It could include a self cleaning system on it. It could be a single step. This one happens to be a double step, but there's also designs that have no steps. Uh, so there's a lot of variations. And so we are here to help if you have any questions about how to test these plate magnets, but for simplicity and because uh, we do not have a uh, production facility here on site, uh, we're going to show you on the table, disconnected from a chute, a plate magnet and how to test it. As always with any separator, what you want to do is shut off the production flow and then you want to remove the separator or move it out of the production area and clean all the ferrous metal off of it. Always use a non-ferrous scraper in order to do that. Um, we do offer plastic strippers for our plate magnets uh, to clean them if you do have a manual clean design. Once you have the magnet clean, if you have a lockout tag out procedure that you have to follow, maybe it's a self clean design, make sure you follow that, then you're ready to test your separator. In order to do your test, we always recommend testing on the first step here. We're going to be using a half inch test ball. There are other test pieces that can be used here as well as gradient testing, but for simplicity and consistency, we're just going to use the half inch test ball. And we're going to put it here on the first step because this is where most of the magnet material is between here. This is going to be a weaker step back here and uh, not as much tramp metal is going to be captured back here as there will be up here. We're going to test in three different areas across the face of this plate magnet and it's not going, so it's not going to be the exact same spot every single time. We'll take our test ball and attach it and zero out our scale. And then we'll pull the scale. We'll record our value and then we'll repeat the test. Notice the grip that I have. I've got a nice firm grip on the plastic. I'm not using the nylon here. Uh, this seems convenient, but what happens is when you finally break free, the scale can go flying. I'm also pulling very slowly and I'm pulling at a 90 degree angle to get a very consistent value from my tests. And so I'll do my third test over here zero out my scale. Also mentioned I made sure that I'm on max for my scale and I made sure that my units were correct, which in this case are pounds. You can also test in ounces and in kilograms if that's what your preference is. Obviously consistency is key here on testing it over and over again. On the back side of this, I'm also going to typically look at the etched serial code on it and check the serial number against the factory certificate so I have a good baseline value of what value this magnet had when it shipped from the factory so I can tell if the performance has increased or decreased since it was installed. With plate magnets, you can see an increase if you're running an abrasive product. What happens is the product will run over this step or both steps and you'll start to see a wear generally in the middle, but it depends how the product is coming down and you'll start seeing a lip. Eventually, these steps can be completely worn away. And that's where a, uh, if you are running an abrasive application, a quick clean design or our abrasion resistant design are good options. Uh, they both have replaceable faces that will allow you to protect your investment in the magnetic separator itself and only have to replace the wear surface. And that's it for testing the plate magnet. For any other advanced testing or any other questions on how to test your plate magnets, please reach out to MPI and we're happy to help.